Hello, folks here. How are you today? Are you happy, sad, angry, fine? I hope you are fine. Well, today is the um, 26th of May. Uh, we are going to do the revision. You are going to do the revision and you need five. But first of all, we are going to check pages 40, 41, and 42 from the activity book. And remember, you have to hand in the letter uh, there in the, the formal letter in the Google Classroom, okay? With the two dates, with the name, and everything. Yes, okay. So let's go very quickly to the correction and then I will explain and I will give you the instructions instructions for doing the revision. Okay, so page 40. Are you there? Electric number one, high, indoor, night, five, irregular. Two, one C, two A, three B, four B, five C, six B. Yes, okay. Exercise, uh, exercise four. One E, two E, three B, four F, five G, six D, seven A. Page 41. Exercises one, two, three, and four. One, what's that made of? Made from? What do they taste like? I think I've tried that. Four, does it come with vegetables? Five, I'll have the same. Exercise two, need to, don't need to, have to, have to, five, don't need to or don't have to. Both possibilities are okay there. Number three, baked, yes, fish, hot, bland. Number four, 1D, 2S, 3M, 4S, okay? And 42, page 42. B, 1B, okay? The swimming pool doesn't open until 9 a.m. AM. Therefore, people can go swimming before they go to work. Two, taking away the discounts for retired people means that they can't afford to use the center very often. Very often. Three, the multi-ticket scheme is too complicated. Consequently, people don't take advantage of offers. For opening the cafeteria to the public will result in more people using the centre. Five, the price increase has led to fewer students using the centre now. And that is all, okay? Well, um, this is done. Yes, let's go to the revision. Yes, okay. Uh, you will have the grammar part. Yes, and you will have the... Okay, yes, wait a minute. Okay, so this is the grammar part. Yes, you will have this. Revision in Unit 5. Yes, the dates there. Okay, I will clean the ball here. Okay. Yes, so complete the sentences using uh, the sentences with these moral verbs and the infinitive, of course, of be plus ing form of the verb. Can, could, may not, might, must. And you have an example there, okay? The children look so happy they can be having a good time, okay? Do you think they, remember, is modal and the infinitive of be plus ing, okay? Yes? Can be having, can't be living, yes, okay? Must be looking, yes, okay? Is it clear? Pay attention there, eh? yes? Is the infinitive or B plus ing? And you have an example here, pay attention, yes, okay? She can't be joking, for example, yes, okay? Number two, choose the correct option, A, B, or C. Analyze the options. Yes, and then choose the correct one. Three, the morals involved are wrong. Write the correct moral. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. Yes, so you have must is wrong and you can correct there. In this case, there were three possibilities, three possible, uh, possible answers. Could, might and may. Yes, okay. Then you have exercise four. Choose the correct option, A, B or C. Remember to read the options first. Analyze the option and then choose the correct, the correct one. Look at the first sentence in each pair.
complete the second sentence so that it has a similar meaning. And for example, you have, it's not possible that we were mistaken. And you have can't. Yes? They can't have been mistaken. Yes? Remember to conjugate. Yes? Can't have been. Yes? Pudo haber sido un error. Yes? Puede haber sido un error. Yes? Can't have. <coughs> she can't have seen him. Yes? Okay? Good. Then write the correct options. Yes? Okay? And then you have the reason part. The writing, sorry, the reading and the writing. You have to read the letter of the editor of a newspaper, decide if the sentences are true or false. Okay, is it clear? Good. You have the letter there. Yes, okay. Good. There we are. All right, and it says, read the writing, task, answer the questions. Well, this is, you don't have to answer the question. Yes, okay, but this is, uh, this is what you have to do, true or false, yes, okay, and then read uh, the writing, task, and answer the question. No, you have read the article by Henry Miller. You have read the article, yes, this is not correct there, yes, Uh and you have to, uh, the letter Michael Tate wrote in response. Yes, you disagree with nearly everything in Michael's letter. So you have to write a letter to the newspaper explaining why you disagree and what Michael Tate wrote. Okay? Uh, why you disagree with what uh, Michael Tate wrote. Okay? Sorry. And you have the space here. You must uh, write uh, the letter in 130 words, yes? Remember, you must read this first and then answer the letter because you have to answer and explain why you disagree with what Michael wrote on his uh, letter. 130 words, you must use consequently, as a result, in addition, mean, okay? So this is all. Concentrate and see you next class. Bye-bye for here.